today I'm going to show you my hydraulic cylinder machine and uh, it's homemade. I want my buddy out there who was a Volvo instructor and a good one. His name's Shucks <laughs> and he's a good dude. Shucks if you're out there I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching us. I built the machine and then I built a cover to go over the top of it to keep it out of the weather. So the first thing I need to do is take that cover off of there. I'm going to set it off to the side and then I'll walk through the machine and I'll show you how the machine works and then we're going to rebuild a hydraulic cylinder on it. So here we go. So this is what I'm powering my hydraulic machine with. On this end, this plate right here, I want to drill this and I want to make an engine rotator out of it for big engines. So I can, you know how you crank a rotator around, well I can put this on there, do my engine work, drill it for all different kinds of engines. So I've got a rear end out of a haul truck. An old 22 ton Euclid haul truck is what that rear end's out of. And what I did was I used a thousand foot pound radio hydraulic motor to drive it with. And I made my own little coupling. And it's big and it's heavy and it weighs a lot. I took a 963 cat track loader and I picked this whole thing up. I put the anchor bolts and everything on it and I set it I tied my service truck onto this end of it and I tied my shooting boom forklift onto that end of it and held it level while the concrete cured but it's a pretty heavy animal anyhow I'm going to show you how it works here so down here I've got an electric 12,000 pound winch and what that's for is I use a Komatsu three-stage forklift mast and of course the forklift mast is only up and gravity pulls it down well when you're laying long ways like this I use hydraulic oil to shoot it out and I use the winch to pull it back which works really good this is my crutch cylinder so my gear reduction on my rear end is 23 and a half to 1 so at a thousand foot-pounds I can actually deliver about 23,500 foot-pounds of torque right here, twist and torque. And if I want to up the ante a little bit, I can use this crutch cylinder and I can go pretty close to 60,000. This lever here runs the crutch cylinder and it goes on both sides. So this cylinder unpins and the hoses are long enough. If you're going to go the other way, you take the cylinder to the other side. You use the lever on the other side and it rotates it. This lever here hydraulically shoots the table out. The winch brings it back. This lever here turns the drum clockwise and counterclockwise. 
and this cylinder here runs the crutch so I use a trans uh, a motorcycle jack to hold the barrel as you're you know when you get ready to pull your rod out of your barrel I use cribbing on the rod I also have a little piece here that I use that I set in here if you're going to pull the rod out right now I've got these brackets in here so these are removable you can take these out I have different configurations of round pins you know like there's a 5 16 there's a quarter you can change all different kinds of things that you can change you can run them two you can run them three I have my carriage all welded down I have all different kinds of adapter plates that I've made so this one here I made this one goes from like three and a quarter inches up to six inches by removing pieces and and removing bolts and sliding jaws in and out it's kind of a universal one that I built there this one here is a inch and a half drive so you can put any kind of an inch and a half drive that plate you pull that plate out and that plate when you lift this thing this thing comes completely off of here when that comes all the way off then you set that plate in behind you take these out that plate sets in here so you can have an inch and a half drive or or whatever size you want to put on it I've got four positions here that hold my rod so when you get ready to pull the rod out of the barrel you put your rod right down on top of this you put this little wooden crutch right here it'll fit down inside of here when that bracket's gone to help so that when the rod lays on it doesn't get scratched and uh, here's another plate here this plate here they're all made out of one inch steel so this plate here is a five inch that plate there is a four and a quarter inch so I put up a jib crane that uh, I used to throw the cylinders off and on the table with this one here got delivered this morning that's a D6 uh, caterpillar blade cylinder we got a new caterpillar kit for it we're gonna do it today kind of show you how the thing works a little bit so you can understand what I'm trying to do here I put a hydraulic gauge in my valve body so if you're running a crutch cylinder on a small cylinder you can see how much pressure that you're putting on that crutch cylinder to take it off and to put it on because there's I really don't have any way of measuring torque other than pressure so what runs the whole thing is I've ran it all off of my skid loader I got these hoses here and I pull my skid loader up here to make it think that there's somebody sitting in the seat I put some tire compound and a piece of one inch plate steel turn it on set the parking brake and that's where I get my hydraulic oil from so it's not too complicated other than it's just big and it's heavy and uh, you've seen me take the cover off so I keep it under cover when I'm not using it just to help you know how weather just deteriorates everything but uh, this plate here you can see now this caterpillar cylinder has no eye on the end of it so if you had an eye on the end of it it would go right in here and pin well it doesn't have an eye on it so what I do there is I built this one and you see where I've machined round rings and those round rings are all perfectly centered so that you know where to weld to so I'm going to take the bottom of this cylinder and I'm going to put four tack welds on this plate and then I'm going to take this plate and that plate pins right here between these two jaws running that big piece of aluminum through the whole thing and that's what centers it so I'm going to give you a little demonstration on how it runs here. I'm going to start this skid loader up and I'm going to show you how the crutch cylinder works and how it rotates and, and uh, 
let you see that real quick here. So that's my hydraulic oil is on and running. So to watch it rotate, if you're going to go counterclockwise, you push on it. If you're going to go clockwise, you pull on it. I'll throw this crutch cylinder out here so you can see it. You see it just unpins and then you can take it to the other side and, and pin it on the other side and do the same thing. But uh, See this one runs your crutch cylinder so what you have there is you've got all of these little bitty spots here that you can take this and you pin it into these and you can rotate it you use these little ratchets that I have here so that as it's rotating it can't back up there's one of them on each side I ground this drum with all these little notches to keep it from you know when you push on it and it's really tight it wants to try to back up well that'll prevent it from backing up but all of these little all these little things you learn as you go it's a in progress idea but it really seems to do well one thing I wanted to show you was I wanted to show you the remote control for the winch in out and it's got a, a uh, quick attach box here you can take and just unplug this thing Put the cap on it, take the whole thing inside with you when you're done using it so it's not out here in the weather. The other thing is uh, you notice that the engine part and the hydraulic part are both turning at the same speed. And the reason that that is was I took the axles out of this thing and I pulled the rear end out of here and I took and disassembled the rear end and I welded all of the spider gears and the side gears all four together solid so that no matter what comes in it's going to turn both of them at the same speed so you know a normal differential how one can overrun and run faster than the other one well not when it's all welded together it can't <laughs> 